everyone, Deborah and Bandit here, and I am so excited to tell you about my fifth annual Coco Fest. It is my fifth year to hold a meetup, and I could not be more thrilled about where it's going to be and when, and I hope that you can join us. Stay tuned. <music> Okay, like I said, I'm so excited to tell you about this. I'm going to have to put on my glasses so I can read my notes because there is so much to share with you and I want to make sure that I don't forget anything. Anyway, regardless, I, if, in case I do, there's going to be information in the video description and in the pinned comment below. So be sure to check that out. But let's get started and see what all I can get on this video and I hope that you can join me. All right, like I said, it is going to be my fifth annual Coco Fest. It is November 15th, 15th, I'm so excited I can barely talk. It is November 15th through 19th. That is a Monday through Friday, and I'll tell you more about check-in and check-out and reservations and everything in just a moment. It is going to be at the fabulous City of Rock State Park in New Mexico. And if you have not ever been there, trust me, you are in for a treat. The average temperatures there at that time of year are 65 high, and but it will get into the mid-30s at night, so be sure that you bring a heater or whatever you're going to need for that. The elevation is right at 5,200 feet, so we won't get a lot of volatility in those temperatures, and uh, I just can't wait for, for y'all to see this park. The rate at the City of Rock State Park is $10 a night, and you can have two rigs per site, but uh, you will need to uh, pay for both rigs. So it's $10 per night per rig, even if you have two at the site. And be sure when you're making your reservations that you check the site link for your uh, rig to make sure that it will fit. They've done a good job of putting up uh, what, si what length rigs will fit. A lot of people want to know, are there additional discounts that I can apply? Can I use my National Access Park Pass and things like that? They do not show that on the reservation site, but I know that when I have gone there in person that uh, for the first come first serve sites that I have applied that in the past, but on the Reserve America site where you will make your reservations, I did not see accommodations for that. So plan on paying $10 a night. And yes, there are first come first serve sites that are not on the reservation map. But this is their busy time of year, and I am holding my meat up there, so I recommend that you make reservations if at all possible. All right, so what else? Oh, it is between Deming and Silver City, New Mexico. It's in uh, the state park address, again, is going to be in the video description and pinned comment. But it is between Deming and Silver City. And I recommend that before you leave one of those towns, uh, Silver City is north of City of Rock State Park, and Deming is south of City of Rock State Park. So it, the address for City of Rock State Park is Faywood. Before you leave either Silver City or Deming to head to Faywood for City of Rock State Park, I highly recommend that you make sure you have all of your supplies that you are going to need for the week because there are no provisions along the way. Be sure you're gassed up and fueled up and stocked up. Also, people have asked, is there public land around Faywood where I might could boondock and then drive into your meetup? Not that I am aware of, you guys. And there is a Faywood Hot Springs Resort, but their dry docking starts at $25 a night, and it's a few miles outside the gate of City of Rock State Park. So you might as well go ahead and plan on paying the $10 a night and come in and join us and, and be there the whole time. With your overnight reservations, the day use fee is waived, and they don't really make that really clear on the Reserve America campsite, I mean, um, on the Reserve America website for making your reservations, but if you pay the $10 a night, you do not also have to pay the day use fee. That's wrapped in that $10 a night. 
People always ask, what about dogs and what about generators? Well, guys, this is at a state park, so we will go by all of their regulations and guidelines. Quiet time is 10 p.m. to 7 a.m., so that means no generators in that time. And because it is in a state park, dogs must be on leash at all times, and no one likes any to hear barking dogs, so hopefully you have that under control. According to the City of Rock State Park website, Again, links are down below. The checkout time is 2 p.m., but on Friday the 19th, the last day of my meetup, we will be out of the pavilion and the group area by 12 noon. If you stay tuned till the end of this, uh, where I'm giving you all of the information, I'm going to have more uh, pictures and uh, even a drive around video clip that I made a couple of years ago from when I was there. So you can get a better feel of, of what you're in for. But I promise you, the photos and the video clips do not do it justice. So I'm a little bit nervous about sharing that with you because I know it doesn't tell you uh, what you're going to be seeing while you're there. Like I said, I have rented the pavilion and the, and the Orion group area from November 15th through the 19th, but you can come before that and you can stay after that. Just make your reservations through Reserve America. I will have some friends that are staying in the group area that are helping me out with the meetup and uh, some of my close friends, but the, the you need to make your reservations for outside of the group area through Reserve America. There you will see that there are four sites with electricity within the park. Those are always booked. They're booked right now and they're not booked by anybody I know or that I'm aware of that I know. They're, I've never checked into the website when those are not booked. So uh, just know that there are four sites with electricity, but those are always booked. There are vault toilets throughout the park and at the visitor center at the park uh, office, there are wonderful showers. So again, there are our first come first site, first serve sites that are not on the green reservation map, but be, I, I do recommend that you make reservations. And when you are making your reservations, the, the, I don't know why Reserve America has the handicapped icon on every single site. I think it may be because those sites are handicapped accessible, but that does not mean it is not an ADA required site. You don't have to have a handicap placard or license plate to reserve those sites. So when you go to Reserve America, just ignore that. Um, and, and we got confirmation from that from the park manager. In the camp itself, oh my God, I just love, this is one of my favorite city uh, state parks. Uh, there are hike and bike trails and the hike and bike trail, uh, you can go as short or as long as you want. I think the, the maximum length is three and a half miles. And there are um, restrooms and benches all along the way for resting. And it's a, it's a wonderful trail. And uh, we will be doing some of that as a group. Or you can just head off as an individual and do that on your own. There are also interior trails within the, the bulk of the park. There's a solar system guided walk. Uh, there's native indigenous um, grinding stones that you can go see. And if you take a walk through the rocks themselves, you're gonna see rabbits and, and um, owls, and it's just amazing. There's also a desert botanical garden and an observatory there that's gonna be right by the pavilion and uh, gonna have lots of activities also that I am doing. So it, I think we're gonna have a great time and I hope you'll join me. The group area that I have reserved with the pavilion is a short walk from anywhere where you might make your reservation. But if you need to have transportation to get from your campsite to the group area, email me at deboradoesrvlife at gmail.com if you have mobil mobility issues or any other kind of concerns and let me see what I can do. But you guys, I'm gonna be relying on volunteers for this kind of stuff so I can make no guarantees, but it is all within a, a short walking distance. While you're there, we're gonna of course do a group photo. I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm going to have t-shirts available soon on my spring store. So I hope that you will get one of your t-shirts uh, from, I'm wearing one of mine today, but I'm going to also have the meetup t-shirts on there. And if you'll just wear any kind of cocoa or um, one of my merchandise shirts from my uh, spring store for the group photo, that will be awesome. And I'll let you know when the, the uh, 
t-shirt for the actual meetup is available. We're also going to have a cast iron cook-off. We're going to have a rock painting demo class. Uh, and like I said, we'll be hitting some of the trails together. We're going to have a solar 101 class, very basic. We're going to have gray and black tank cook-ups. So if you're a newbie, this is going to be a good way to get started. We're going to also demonstrate how to hitch and unhitch trailers and give you some hints on pulling those. We're going to have a Q&A panel with some experienced nomads that you can learn and turn in your questions ahead of time and get answered. We're going to have a send-off brekkie that Friday morning and celebrate the week that we've been together. And there's just going to be a lot going on, so I hope you'll join us. I'm on the search for a karaoke machine. Again, quiet hours are 10 p.m. to 7 a.m., and we're not going to blast anybody out. But at night, we will have um, at least three propane fire pits, fire bowls, and uh, we will have that and maybe some dancing and maybe a karaoke contest. But it won't be for real because then otherwise I wouldn't be able to participate. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to just have a lot of fun together. And again, the links and the info are in the pinned uh, comment down below and in the video description. Let me know if you think you might can make it and if you have any concerns email me and I just hope that you will join us and and are looking forward to this as much as I am. We'll see you down the road everybody. Keep on keeping on. See you at my fifth annual Coco Fest.